Um, first thing, oh, how's COVID affected you? Uh, not much, to be, honest, to be honest with you. I usually uh, travel a lot, work a lot, and don't seem to see my family enough, and it's done the opposite. So I've been at home, I've been cooking with my wife, and the kids are fantastic. And yeah, it's, I mean, I'm, it, it's been a while now, it's been about six months, so I'm, I'm getting itchy feet, I like to go back to work. Yeah, but the, the six months have been fantastic to be honest. Oh, with you. it would be very nice just to, to be home for a nice change. That's right. Uh, with your kids, I've got is there anything your kids won't eat? Um, both kids, I've got a five year old daughter and a 15 year old boy. Mm -hmm. My daughter is very adventurous, she, mm -hmm. she eats any type of cuisines. Um, maybe a little fussy on the veggies, as <laughs> most kids. But tomato, uh, cooked tomatoes and mushrooms, she's not keen on. No. And my boy is very Aussie, believe it or not. <laughs> he likes, he likes uh, he's 15, so he does a lot of sports. So he loves uh, lots of food, but simple food. He's not a fancy, fancy eater. Um, and same mushrooms, he's not too keen on it. No, no, look, when you mean simple foods, like, you know, steak or, you know, that yeah, kind of... like a schnitzel, you know, the, oh. mm. the, the, the Aussie stuff. <laughs> and even baked beans on toast sometimes. It's just, oh, like, nothing wrong stuff. with that. No, no, I'm not saying it's wrong. It just makes you fart. <laughs> no, they're good for the heart for that reason. Oh, they just... <laughs> Do you have to sneak veggies into your daughter's food? No, 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 no. She, she has to, she has to have it. It's, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, no, no one's, no one leaves, leaves uh, the table until they finish the plates. That's, oh, that's how, how long have you made her sit there before? Uh, well, now, now she's, she's allowed to have the iPad on. So sometimes, <laughs> sometimes she's forgetting that we're putting vegetable in the mouth and she just keeps on chewing them. Oh. Whatever works. Exactly. <laughs> um, all right, your breast cancer three course challenge. Can you just tell me, tell me, or, oh, how is your mum? Mum's good. She's finished uh, a treatment and it's all clear and she's, yeah, she's happy. She, the hair growing back, um, oh. greyer than before, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, that's right. Now she's happy. She's good. She's good. good. And the, the three course challenge came about because of that. Yeah. Uh, well, no, I've, I've worked with um, we I did uh, below the belt last year, which which is prostate and testicular cancer. Yep. And that that went very well. And then uh, they've asked me to do an, uh, one with the breast cancer a few months ago, Mother's Day. Mother's Day yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I did a couple of courses, and that was a great success. And then they said we want to do another one. And um, and we just raised seventy three thousand dollars so far. Wow. We have even started the cooking. So, I think that's why Aussies love you, though, because you do get involved in those sorts of things. Well, you you know, I I believe that I'm very lucky. You know, I'm one of the lucky ones that got given uh, um, a second career, I suppose, and that I've really enjoyed the, the TV world and. And you've got to give back. If you don't give back in money, you give back in time or whatever it is, you've just got to give back. That's the way I look at it. Absolutely. And your um, plate of origin. So, plate of origin is very exciting. Uh, obviously, it's a cooking competition. Mm -hmm. uh, we tried as hard as we could to make it very different to the other two that been, we've been involved in, which is yes. Master Chef and My Kitchen Rules. So obviously there's some similarity because it is a cooking competition, but it's the Olympics of cooking. So we've got 10 teams from all around the world who lives in Australia. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we've got Lebanon, Viet uh, Venezuela, Vietnam, China, France, Greece, Italy, uh, Cameroon, India, and, and, and another one. <laughs> and, and Basically, they yeah they're cooking us their the their cuisines and and the three of us having a good time getting fed. You get, are you biased against the French one? No, <laughs> a contrary. They have to. They really have to impress me. Very good. No, no, that's fair. That's fair. Just thought I'd ask. Um, and your sauce range. Yes. So, 
Have you, have looks you delicious. Pepper? And is there enough sauce in the sauce pack? Uh, they are absolutely delicious, if I can say so myself. Yes. They are made with fresh ingredients. Mm -hmm. No additive, no preservative, no sugar. And they are made the way I would make them at home. And, that's and you get them off the shelf and they taste good? Because, you know, some of the sauces that you get from the supermarket taste really manky. No, no, no. no, no. That's where I just, okay, I'll start, I'll start again. <laughs> the fresh sauce made with fresh ingredients, mm -hmm. no additive, no preservative, no sugar. They're traditionally made the way I would make them at home. Okay. Right? So it's not a sauce packet. It's a packet, it's a packet sauce. It's a sauce in a packet. Okay. Okay, that's the difference <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So the way it's done, it's the it's 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 done in a in a big vat, but it's done by stirring, cooking the shallots and the garlic, and we add the, either the mushroom or the peppercorn. Then we add the wine. Then we reduce it. We add the stock. We reduce it. Then we add the cream, and so and then we put it in a patch and close. Oh. The way that sauce are made in Australia is they put all the powder and stuff into the patch, mm -hmm. they close it and then they cook it in the patch. Ah. That's the difference. So I'm the first one in Australia that's created a finishing sauce that is fresh and f mainly fresh with fresh ingredients. Good. I so, can't wait to try it because I, I do like the idea of sauce packets, but they have been gross in the past. And that's why we, that's why we, we developed this, uh, with this brand and this ranch is because everything else that is in the market, on the market. If you look at, actually, if you look at the label at the back, there's no ingredients. No. There's numbers, there's powders, there's thickening agents, there's soy, there's yeast, there's mm -hmm. sugar, there's vinegar, there's all the bloody crap that yeah. doesn't even make sense. So when you buy a, a mushroom sauce that's made with that, how can it taste like mushroom if there's mm -hmm. no mushroom in it? Yep. I'm saying, same with the peppercorn, same with the red wine. We looked at a, a, a brand the other day. There was 0.2% of red wine in a red wine sauce. Ah. <laughs> Ours got 30%. Mm -hmm. uh, and so is there enough sauce? It's, a, it's in a restaurant style, you probably serve 50 meals of sauce per person. Mm -hmm. So that's a packet for two. I've got 150 meals. Very for good. Me. So there's enough sauce? <laughs> For three, but it's a packet for two. <laughs> I can't wait or to just try one, it. One packet for me. Are you going to expand the range at any stage? Yes, the, that's the plan. There's a, there's another three sauce uh, that I've been working on. Oh, can you uh, tell us the flavors? There's mustard to go with mm -hmm. pork and poultry. There's a lamb and rosemary. Oh, and yeah. there is a seafood one as well for fish. Um, and then there's another three sauce that I'm working on for the future as well. So. All we have to do now is um, make sure that the three that are on the market today uh, are going well, not well, well sorry. Absolutely. You know, go all around the country. The brand awareness is out there. The mm -hmm. People are buying those three. And if those three are being sold enough, then we can go and, and continue on with the rest. Excellent. Congratulations. I think it'll be great. Well, hopefully, hopefully we, we're just on the brink to make it happen. So it's either, either it's going to stop or it's going to happen. Uh, we, yeah. We're just there at the moment where all the balls are in the air and uh, it, it's a juggling act. Yeah, oh, that's good. Uh, sauce range. Uh, oh, which sauce is your favorite? <laughs> Those are three babies that I love equally. <laughs> but if you had to choose. If I had to choose. Um, I'd have to go one that's more versatile. I should, I'd probably go for the peppercorn. Mm, you can have so peppercorn beautiful. with pork and with lamb and with beef and, and, and so on, so on, poultry. So yeah, probably. But All that's, right. yeah, that's, that's a hard question to answer. <laughs> All right, I've got the fun questions now. If I came to your house right now and stole what was on top of your fridge, what would I be getting? On top of the fridge or inside the fridge? On top. Oh, uh, bread. It's, it's drying out for breadcrumbs. Oh. <laughs> Lucky <laughs> you. <Yeah. laughs> oh, 
and then we, would you rather, okay, so we start out tame. It's not too bad. I, I wanted to go a lot naughtier, but. You can, yeah. you can. <laughs> I'm, I'm naughty too. I know, I know you are, but. <laughs> uh, all right, but so if you had to give up cheese forever or chocolate forever, which would it be? Chocolate uh, forever. Yeah, that, yeah, that's an easy one. Um, if you had, if all your food forevermore was covered in tomato sauce or mayonnaise, which would you choose? Mayonnaise. <laughs> uh, if you had to, oh, would you rather give up cake forever or ice cream forever? I'm not oh. a sweet tooth, so um, I think uh, uh, I think I'll give up cake. Cake. Yep. I'll give up cake. Yeah, if yeah. you had to eat breakfast for every meal or dinner for every meal. Dinner for every meal or breakfast for every meal. Probably dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. <laughs> uh, would you rather eat a cup of butter or drink a cup of maple syrup? Butter. Butter. Yeah. That's, the, that's the French coming out. Would you rather have a personal chef or a personal masseuse? Personal masseuse. Thank yes. You. <laughs> I can cook, she can massage. <laughs> would you rather have. <laughs> oh. Would you. <laughs> no, oh, yes, yeah, she, she has to be a sheep. Sheep. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather have three nipples or one nipple? Well, I don't play with them, so just one of you know. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's cacking in the background. <laughs> Um, would you rather be a, the famous author of Twilight or the famous writer of every Nickelback song? I don't know the second one. Music. Nickelback, really bad rock band. Music. Yeah, music, yeah. <laughs> the second one. Second one. Nick, Nickelback? Yeah. <laughs> yes, all right. Well... That's it, that wasn't too rude, but I'm gonna go so much harder on you next time I interview you. No, you, you, can, you, can, you can do yes. it now. Surely you've got some on the back of your mind. <laughs> I do, but this is meant to be PG to start with. <laughs> I, do, I, do, I think the, the website's pretty much outrated. <laughs> I didn't think your website was PG at times. I just uh, <laughs> we saw some funny stuff the other day. Uh, yeah, it is. It's great fun. It, it's um. Yeah, if I wake up wanting to write about vaginas, I do. <laughs> Fabulous. Well, you've got a great <laughs> job. When did you st When did you start this? Oh, I've been doing it ten years now. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. still run from my house in Gympie. So okay, it's great. Yep. Brilliant. It's awesome. What does your husband think about it? Oh, he loves it too because he works in the business now as well. And um, oh, right. he's the boss because I'm, I'm not good with money. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> but um, no, it's great. Thank you, thank you so much. I, no, no, they're gonna, the, the followers at Stay At Home, I'm going to go ape shit. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> That's what we like to. All right. Well, we, we, we're supposed to we organize some sauce. Yeah, Rachel. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. We, yeah. yeah, we've got a competition coming up, which is, yeah. which is awesome. Fantastic. Um, and yeah, whatever else we can do, work together would be fantastic. No, that would be my, really my, good. My, my job with the sauce, darling, is also educating people to eat better. And, yes. and I know a lot of people are time poor. Um, now, you know, both people in a couple are working, mom and dad are working, and sometimes don't have time to cook. And this, this is a perfect product to just cook, cook a quick piece of chicken, some lamb cutlets, whatever it is, put a bit of sauce, little broccoli in bunch, and that's it. Oh, I love that it'll make a simple meal fantastic, which is what yeah, I like. That's right. Yeah. Fantastic. Awesome. Thank you so much. It was lovely to talk to you. Uh, see you soon. Okay. Uh, next time you can ask me some more dirty questions. I will. Oh, uh, you've got it, mister. <laughs> 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 All right. See ya. Uh, see you, darling. Bye. Bye.